Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and today we're going to take the two pistols we just looked at yesterday, the uber-fancy Benelli uh, MP3S, which is like the super high-end competition version of the standard Benelli M uh, B76, and uh, we're going to see how they actually shoot against each other. MP3S has a nicer trigger for sure, single action only as well. Uh, longer sight radius, longer barrel, it's actually got adjustable sights. This is pretty much your standard single stack service pistol, so let's see how they stack up on paper at 50 feet. Alright, first the B76 on the left hand target. I've got eight rounds in this magazine and then I'll load another two for a total of ten. Last two cartridges. Overall, this actually feels pretty nice in the hand. It's got a little bit of a creepy trigger. I know that the trigger in the MP3S is better. So let's see if the MP3S will shoot better for me. Now we have the ultra rare super competition deluxe model. Uh, this is single action only, and the single action trigger is noticeably better than the standard B76. We also interestingly have magazines that are limited to five rounds. Um, so I have two of them. Fire one, swap it out, fire the other. Uh, you may notice this has right-handed target grips on it. I'm left-handed, so I'm just going to shoot this two-handed like before and well, we'll see what happens. It does not like this ammo. One magazine. Now the second. Alright, let's go take a look at how these two actually compare. Ooh. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, those are actually right about the same, which is interesting to me because this, the MP3S, absolutely has a nicer trigger. Now, it also malfunctioned on nine of the ten rounds. I am shooting Blazer Brass or Blazer Brass. Um, it worked fine with the standard gun. Uh, not entirely sure what, what this thing's hiccup is with it, but it certainly shot a pretty respectable group, at least uh, for me. This was 50 feet, and I got, I got this guy and a 2-inch, basically a 2 by 2 inch group. Um, add in that guy, and it becomes a 3 and a half inch group. And then with the standard B70, B76 over here, um, pretty much the same thing. The, like, if it hadn't been for this flyer, this group would have been just a little bit smaller. Um, this is actually a smaller group than this one, given that little guy. But uh, 
it's it's bigger than this batch. So um, I I think some people are going to suggest that that had something to do with the the grips. So I'm thinking, just for kicks, let's try this one more time and let's do it one-handed, right hand only. That'll be a bit of a handicap for me. Uh, the groups are going to be a lot worse uh, because I'm left-handed, but that will actually allow us to isolate the grips on this gun and see if that, you know, I'm equally equally inhibited for right-hand shooting with both of the guns. Let's see if this one lets me shoot better that way. Oh, this is going to suck. Right-handed only. I've got eight rounds in the mag, two in my pocket. Oh, that was bad. My arm a little rest while I load the last two. I think we're going to want to go take a look at these targets, one after each gun, because who knows where all these rounds are. All right, last two. Okie dokie, let's go take a look. Okay, so actually not quite as bad as I thought. I'm gonna go ahead and circle all of these. So if I wing some of the MP3S shots over here, we'll know it. But that's all 10 on paper. There we go. All right, and then five and five with the MP3S. rest for a moment. The gun's actually working now, that's cool. Okay. First magazine. This thing is heavier. Longer barrel, it's got a muzzle weight on it. In theory, that should help it a bit. Uh, it balances better for this style of competition shooting, at least one shot at a time, and it does have a slightly longer sight radius. All right, let's find out. Well. Once again, we have pretty much the same thing. So, 76, the MP3S, I have well, one, two, four inches of vertical dispersion as opposed to one, two, three, four and a half. I have a little bit less vertical dispersion, but I have more horizontal. They kind of come out about the same again. Um, 
there are two possible options. Either this doesn't shoot any better than standard B76, or more likely, I can shoot as well as this thing can, and not as well as this thing can, and I'm just not a good enough target shooter to see the benefit from the extra fancy version. I'll tell you the trigger is absolutely, substantially, noticeably better on the MP3S, but I'm not able to hold the gun steady enough um, to actually exploit that improved trigger. It felt like it was more difficult to get good shots off with this guy, but the results say doesn't actually really help. So I will tell you this, this one's actually mine. Um, I found this at a pawn shop for a couple hundred bucks, which was an awesome score. Uh, and I'm very happy to keep this because I like the feel of it in the hand. This is uh, very, has been very generously loaned to me by uh, Todd, and I will be quite happy to send it back to him. Uh, he appreciates it for what it is. Uh, hopefully he can shoot it better than I can, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this guy. So anyway, um, there has been our interesting look at the MP3S versus the M76, a couple of B76, I keep saying M. A couple of cool Benelli's that you don't see around very often. Thanks very much for watching.